Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC featherweight division title. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender for a long time. This man believed he was the number one 145-pound fighter on the world. He's called out the champion for a long time. Now he's got the winning streak, the finishes to position himself for the title shot. We will see what he can do with it. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy. He is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that. Below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense. Another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship the world! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, introducing the challenger, Josh Evans! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 3 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, yeah! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight? All right, DC, here we go with round one. Of 
guys in this division can grapple as effectively as he can, but maybe some pause tonight given the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on the other side. Yes, and he may use his grapplers in reverse to stay upright because the Jiu-Jitsu fighter is such a great fighter. He's such a fantastic fighter. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it. That standing may be this grappler's best chance to win the fight. Blocks the shot. Good punch lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. And now he's got that tight clinch. I mean, look at the commitment to kick. Stuff to take down, no problem. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Goes upstairs for an elbow. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. That right hand landed. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. 38 total strikes have now landed for Yair Rodriguez. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, big left hook there. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Oh, good combination. Very efficient with his strikes tonight. And there comes the separation now. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Yair Rodriguez. Great punch. Just missed with the left there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Rodriguez gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Rodriguez gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Big leg kick lands. And that one certainly found the target. 
Oh, the defense there. Oh, huge block for him. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Round two underway. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch lands. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands. Perfect. Straight punch lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Cuts him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice defense there. Huge block. Rodriguez gets touched by that kick there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Oh! Head kick lands. Good so he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. So the unofficial numbers, they are good. 95 total strikes have now landed for Josh Emmett. And striking at a 45% tonight against Yair Rodriguez. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Under three minutes to go round two. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, collar tie. Big punch land through the middle. Left hook counter. Rodriguez, I would think DC, this is a hard guy to simulate in training. Creates a lot of oh, big head kick lands. Oh, look what Whoa! he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! That knee might have landed there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Man, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. 
He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Punch over the top. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks have landed tonight. You see that left thigh starting to show signs of bruising. Nice one-two there. Oh, it lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. This has gotten worse. If you don't protect yourself, All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see the type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Left hand punch to the clinch. And they separate. Oh! Done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, make it 150 total strikes have landed for Josh Emmett. And a 45% accuracy rate thus far against Yair Rodriguez. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Whoa! He's hurt. So oh. he's right punch is good. The left also flush. Oh, big left. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. And they separate. This is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, huge block! What a punch. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's more blood, you continue to attack it every time. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That was a nice strike. Straight right hand now just misses. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Rodriguez easily evades. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. 
And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will not be up. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Just misses there with the left. Five seconds remain in the round. Beautiful body kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Sustained in that round. Now the cut man comes in. He'll try to earn his money, close it up, and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, took it, he landed that kick, and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth. Oh! Go get him. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be over. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Now a knee. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Sneaky head kick. Oh, big punch land. Just misses with a left hook there. Head kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. He's got a serious right punch and he went to it effectively. Whoa! Back to the feet. Went for the inside leg kick. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Rodriguez gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh, a huge block there. Rodriguez gets caught with that punch. Just over three minutes to go. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh! He's out! He got him! What a performance! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So, they'll see the replay, and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Back in 
inside the octagon once again. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, eight seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, came in the champion, and he will exit that way as well. The UFC's king at 145 pounds. This dude might be the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. He may just be the best fighter across all divisions inside the octagon. His skill set is so complete that he makes these great fighters look as if they don't belong in there with him. Tonight was another classic performance by this gentleman.